Uh, welcome back. Uh, today I want to do a little video for installing Manum. Uh, Manum is the program that's used by three blue, one brown, uh, that, that does all the great graphics. So here's an example. Do a quick example here. What that looks like. So th these animations are being done uh, with that program Manum. And so uh, let's talk about the installation here. So first of all, we're going to need the code for Manum. So we go over to GitHub and search for it. And we get this three blue, one brown Manum. And of course, we come over here and we grab a copy of the URL for it. And once that's done, we're going to come over here, and uh, I use uh, a, a directory called code that's in my home directory. That's where I, I build my GitHub uh, repository. So I'm just going to do a git clone and uh, paste in that uh, anim URL. And uh, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it. And that's going to build. And then uh, <clears throat> we can see the intent manum here. And then when it, within here, we have a requirements.txt file. And so whenever we load one of these requirements things, we want to make a uh, an environment for it. We don't want to just put it right in. Uh, our base uh, environment. So that means we're going to run a conda command here, conda create minus name manum python equals 3.7. It wants 3.7 or higher. So uh, if you don't have 3.7, if you're running an older Python, it's time to uh, upgrade your Python. Uh, but I'd imagine that most people already have 3.7. So we just create that. And then, of course, after you create it, you have to activate it. So conda activate manum. I've already done all this. So I'm not going to do it again. But those are the steps you can see here that I'm in the manum uh, virtual environment. So once you're in here, then the thing to do is uh, uh, a Python 3 minus m pip install minus r requirements dot txt. And is that going to work? No, it's going to fail. And the reason it's going to fail is because you don't have uh, this command first, sudo apt-get install libcairo 2-dev. And if we look here at the installation instructions uh, for direct installation, it says, to just do this, Python 3 minus pip install, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say that it tells you up here that the system requirements are Cairo, FM, PEG, SOX, and LaTeX. Uh, but it doesn't uh, tell you uh, how to install these. So anyway, this is how to install the libcairo 2-dev. And once you do this, then you can do this Python 3 minus uh, m pip install minus r requirements.txt command, and that will run perfectly. I don't know if I have fmpeg. I know I have SOX installed because I use it else. I don't know if I have LaTeX. So why don't we take a look at this? Sudo apt install LaTeX. Uh, let's take a look at how to install this. Just make sure we have this. All right, the other thing that before we do this, I should I should let you know you also have to do this. Uh,
text live dash full. So sudo apt-get install text live dash full. And this text live dash full, this may be latex. Uh, it probably is. And this, I have to tell you, takes a long time to install. This took me probably 12 minutes, 15 minutes to install this. So be prepared. It's going to download a lot. And then it has to uh, make, uh, make packages from it and install them. So it's going to take a while. So uh, So LaTeX has a, a GitHub here, LaTeX 3. Uh, So I'm not seeing this. Let's see. Install text on one to my distribution here. All right. So this text live is latex. So that means I'm I'm done with that. And so what else was there? There was FF MPEG. If I could find this. FF MPEG. Oh, well, this is for Windows. Just open another one here. So on Ubuntu. All right, let me just make sure that I have this. I, I'm pretty sure I already have it, but not hurt. Not hurt to put it in here again. Not going to overwrite anything or etc. I'm already the newest version. It does say there's some things I can auto remove. So apps auto remove. So basically this just keeps the system cleaned up a little bit. You don't have to run these auto remove uh, commands, but they will keep your system a little leaner. Uh, all right, so that's that. And then uh, what else does it say we need here? Why this is moving around like this? All right, so Cairo we have this we have uh, socks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I have socks here, or maybe it's in a virtual environment. So I better check. Uh, so and so. Onto all right, it's all minus wise. But it just hit the copy command, it right off. All right, so it's already installed. So that's Cairo, FM, PEG, SOX, and LaTeX. Those are all in there. Uh, and then, uh, then we, we make sure that we have our virtual environment. And then we can do our uh, Python 3 minus m pip install minus r requirements dot text. So that's, you know, an odd thing about uh, setting up systems these days is you have to do a bunch of manual requirements and then you can run the requirements file. And if you don't install at least, uh, at least Cairo, you will get an error. I don't know about the other ones. The other ones should probably get errors on them too. 
So just make sure you have those four packet packages installed, and then you can run the requirements.txt file, and then you're all up and running. Now, what do you do with this once you're up and running? So then I guess the thing to do is to uh, find this uh, LTR, LTR made Beethoven, not sure what that is, uh, animations with Manum, animation course with Manum. And so you can uh, come in here and just like the other one, uh, clone this. El Tiore, El Tiore made Beethoven. And uh, once that's done, say here, installation. Linux, run, run over there. All right, so this is actually going to show you the entire uh, entirety of what I just showed you. I think it's uh, install this, and et cetera, et cetera. Of course, it's going to do it in Spanish, so there's that. Uh, but once you've done that, You can watch these other go through these other uh, tutorials, etc., and uh, learn how to use Mana. Of course, I made a copy of the repository here, as you can see. I have tutorial. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's go back over here and let's just uh, grab this again. Grab this. Let's go back here. Uh, it phone. This nations. Oh, there it is. I'm just not seeing it. I've got to do something with these colors here. This dark blue is so hard to see. Anyway, that's good. I've got all this. So here's an English directory. And I guess it has a bunch of. Uh, example files in directory. So let's go into this first one here, which is uh, text formats. And we can see we've got these scenes and uh, text formats.py. All right, so I haven't taken this uh, tutorial yet, so you are caught up to where I am right now, uh, which is uh, we've got the tutorial uh, installed, we've got Manum installed. Now we can now we can go and learn it. So I hope uh, I hope you learn a lot, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.